I get asked this question on a regular basis. People always say the same thing. Dave, what's the best size van to go for? Now I've been there and done that. I've had the big kitted out vans, I've had the smaller vans. Heck, I've even had a pedal bike when I started out. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some brilliant examples on how you can kit your own van out. And we're gonna be taking a look at VW Caddies, Ford Transit Connects. We're even gonna take a look at a Vauxhall Corsa van. So if you're thinking about getting started out and you want a little bit of inspiration, then this video could be the answer to your prayers. So you're a little bit undecided about the right size of the van that you're after. Well, today we're going to be covering just the smaller vans today because we want to break this down into lots of different videos just to help you guys out. So we're going to be focusing purely on the small vans today and we're going to be covering loads of different pros and cons. And hopefully by the time this video is finished, you're going to have a clear mind and you should be able to decide for yourself which is the right van for you. So let's start off by taking a look at some of the pros of a small van. So the MPG is going to be one of the biggest factors for a lot of you because you're not going to be carrying a load of weight because you simply can't. And also they're great for nipping in and out of city centres and if you've got a massive van and you're not the best driver in the world it can be a bit of a pain in the backside if you're trying to park up and you're trying to manoeuvre something when you're in a bit of a flap. So small vans do have some huge advantages. And also another thing to consider, think about how many things you store in your van right now. If you've got a big van what I find is when I had my larger vans, I was just filling it up with all sorts of stuff. There was a point, right, where I had a gigantic tea urn because I had a water tank and I was like, yeah, I need to heat the water up in the winter. I had a blimmin' tea urn. That's not the sort of thing that I'd probably carry in a smaller van just because you can't, you just can't carry that much stuff in it. So I do think I was sort of buying stuff which I thought was quite necessary at the time. But now when I look back at it, I just think... Why was I buying that? And then I was buying like two pressure washers, keeping two in at the same time in case the other one went completely wrong. And then it turns out I never really did need to use it. So I was just carrying around extra weight. So I think when you've got a bigger van, it also gives you the incentive just to chuck everything in there. And you're not always as organised. Whereas if you've got a smaller van, you're like, right, I'm going to get everything all set out. It's all got to be put back nice and tidy. It does keep you on top of your organisation skills. Let me tell you that. And also another thing to consider, a smaller van might mean you might be able to get cheaper stickers because your vehicle's not going to be as big. It's a little saving. It's not a massive one, but I thought I'd chuck it into the mix. But anyway, let's talk about the cons of owning a small van. The biggest con is an obvious one for me. A small van cannot carry all the things that you might need. Now, if you're somebody who's starting out from scratch and you just want to work your way up, I can't see anything wrong with a small van. But if you want to go big time and you want to get a generator, you want to have a massive water tank, you simply can't do that. And even if you could do it, it wouldn't give you much space to put things like your marquee or many other chemicals. And also vans have two seats, which means if you do get busy, you're not going to be able to take two mates with you if you want to get done in a quicker time. You're only going to have that one seat and the odds are that one seat is probably going to be dedicated for your Henry Hoover. And there is one more big factor for me and it happens to everybody. You're out there, you're cleaning your car, it starts raining just out of nowhere and you have to chuck everything back in the van. You have about three minutes to do it. It is a bit of a flap, I've got to admit. When you've got a bigger van, you can sort of just chuck it in and you're like, right, it's still space. But in a smaller van, you've got to be pretty quick and you're just slamming stuff in there. You get very disorganised from doing that as well. That can be a real put off for some people. But if you are working inside, then you can completely ignore that factor. OK, so you do want to go and buy a smaller van. So let's take a look at all the essentials that you're going to need to kit it out. First of all, the water tank is questionable because some people may just rely on customers' water. But for most of you, this is going to be an important factor. So you need to utilise the height of your van and go for a water tank that's got good height but less width. So you're going to need to carry loads of chemicals as well. Now you need to make sure that you've got at least 5 litre drums. You can't obviously carry 25 litre drums in those small vans. It's just not possible. You might be able to get away with one for TFR, but other than that, you're not going to be able to carry much stuff. So you have to break it down and unfortunately it just means you're going to have to top your chemicals up every night when you get in from work. So the essential 5 litre products will consist of car shampoo, wheel cleaner, fallout remover, TFR, snow foam, citrus pre-wash and an interior cleaner. You've also got to make sure that you've got enough space for your cleaning caddy and also I keep emergency one litre bottles. So I have wheel acid and I've openly said that before. There are some occasions 
well, you just need to use the damn stuff because nothing else will shift it. So it's good to have one litre of wheel acid and also a heavy duty carpet cleaner. A lot of you probably aren't going to get through that much carpet cleaner. So carrying five litres in one go every single day just to use it once a month seems a bit pointless. Keep the weight down and go for a one litre. And when it comes to equipment, you're also going to need a decent sized pressure washer. If you want to get a machine that works pretty well, it is going to be quite big. Those Karcher K2s are not going to cut it. Yes, they're small and light and they are good for getting in and out but unfortunately they're just not going to cut it for this business. You're also going to need to get yourself a decent vacuum cleaner. A Charles or a George wet vac is pretty much all you're going to need. It's going to be bog standard, it's going to be perfect for you, it's going to have good reliability and it's going to have good sucking power as well. You're also going to need extension leads and if you need a steamer, well this is another thing you can question. i got a steamer but I don't always use it so again I don't know if you can class that as an essential for carrying in a small van but I'll leave that one down to you. You're also going to need somewhere to put your machine polisher but that can easily be solved by putting it in a bag and either sticking it under one of the seats. You also got to have a nice storage facility like little racking. I spend about £15 on the light cheap racking. You can get it in Wilkinson's, you can pretty much get it anywhere. I keep all my cloths separate in them. I've actually got, I've got about 10 drawers now where I put all my different cloths. I've got the glass ones, I've got the towels, I've got the door shut towels, I've got the interior cloths, I've got the fabric. I've got so many different things that I use and they're all nicely compact away because you're also going to need space to put your buckets as well. And even when you carry your buckets, you're going to need three to four buckets and you're going to need to put all your wash mitts somewhere. You don't want to just leave them in the bucket and then stack the buckets because then you could get grit from the other bucket going into your main one. And that's when you cause problems. And you also need somewhere to put your brushes as well. So there is quite a lot of things you need to think about before you actually go out and get a van. You have to plan all these things in advance. Now here comes the good juicy bit. I'm going to show you some fantastic examples of what Valet Vans have done. Now this is a UK based company. They basically kit out any van or you can go and buy a van that's already been done by them. So even if you have bought your van and you're thinking, well, I don't really know what to do, you can go to them and they can kit it out everything for you. Everything is done. And not only that, they can supply you the chemicals, the machine, all the equipment, everything can be built up. So all you've got to do is go buy the van and then let those guys go and do the rest. Now they've got all sorts of different packages. I really want you guys to go and check out their website because it is packed with so many amazing ideas. And not only that, go check them out on Instagram. I contacted them the other day. I said, look, please, can I put some of these pictures on this video? Because I think you guys need to see it. These are absolutely epic in every single way. So here's some examples of some of the caddy van setups they've got and they look absolutely beautiful, especially with like the mood lighting they've put in there as well. And they've all got carpeted interior which adds a certain quality. And I love the way that everything has its own place and it's important if you are in a hurry and you have to chuck things back in. And going on from what I said earlier on about the 5 litre containers, they've thought about that as well. They've got proper shelving where you can put all your 5 litre containers together. It is just perfectly done i love the way they've executed this so what they like to do is partition the van in half so in the rear of the van we've got the generator and the hoover they normally have their own place but then you've got like a nice little workbench and i think that's pretty important too because it's always good to put the car mats on there so you can hoover them without sticking them on the floor i think that idea works and i like the way that the five liters all just sit behind and then you've got your 500 ml bottles which are all close to hand and they're all in their own holders which means that nothing's going to spill out it's all nicely put together i absolutely love this and i think this is the bilingo one that i'm currently looking at now and it is just gorgeous and then they've got the steam cleaner and the cranzel which sits in front of the water tank but there's still a little bit of blank space which i still think that you could still utilize as well by putting some more little racking like I said before you can get those cheap boxes there is a way that you could fit them into that so the next one I want to show you is one of my favorites and this is on Instagram and this is the reason why I contacted them because it's incredible what they've done it's a Vauxhall Corsa van so it's no different to your little tiny car with two seats it's just so beautifully done I love everything about this one um, I mean look you haven't got a massive amount of space in there but they've still managed to get a water tank in there, which is, that's quite incredible. And the Kranzel's just sitting on top of it. And there is space for your buckets too. And they put the brushes down the side. They've got the bottles all in their holders. Look, admittedly, it might be a bit of a faff for some people who are trying to get their head around the whole thing. You're not going to have a massive amount of space. But they've even managed to fit a generator in there. Well, I think what they've done is nothing short of a miracle in terms of utilising the height. 
they've nailed it. So I think by looking at some of these vans, you should be able to get a good idea for yourself on how to kit it out. I always love the idea of having a workstation, but if you can't do it, honestly, there is a good alternative. You can go to the range or Ikea, you can get those decorators tables. And believe me, I know this sounds ridiculous, but they aren't that heavy. They're pretty light and they cost £10. You can literally pull it out the van, put all your work stuff on it and get organised before you go and actually do the car. And even if it does rain, you could put everything underneath to keep it dry. I still think those DIY tables are a great thing and I may even feature a video on it a bit later down the line because I'd love to try and make a custom one with like brush holders and all sorts of gadgets which might be quite cool. Might even give it a go later on in the year before Christmas but I think having a workstation is important and I think Valet Vans have done a great job of having one on the back because I think that was one of the biggest problems for me. I didn't go down the route of using them. I, as some of you probably know, my vans, I've, I've had so many flipping vans, it got to a point where I'm just like, no, I'm done with vans. So I kept my Transit Connect. It's been with me for like eight years now. And I use pallets. I use pallet racking. And I know it's heavy, it's not practical, but I needed something built for the next day to do this job at Top Gear and I wanted to look good. I made it out of pallets and it look, it's incredible. Honestly, all right, it's not that sturdy, all right, it's sturdy enough, but I'll tell you what, it has been perfect for everything I need. My hoover's got its own place. The step's got its own place. I've got three caddies along the front. I've got drawers at the back. Everything about it. And then I put drawers on top of my water tanks as well. And they've been cable tied in. Trust me, honestly, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it works. It really does work. So I might even put some more like footage of my van out because I love it. I know it's a bit of an old dog. But it does the job. I can pull up anywhere and I've got everything all set up. Just pull the pressure washer out. Lovely jubbly. If I haven't got a long enough hose to reach around the car, I've got an extension hose which will then pull out from the water tank. Everything works and I keep things as simple as possible. I don't carry half the stuff that I used to now. I just make that extra effort of every night just making sure all my chemicals are topped up and everything's all clean and fresh ready for the next day. I even have a bucket to put all my dirty cloths in. And when I get a new van, whenever that, whenever that day comes when my van dies, that's going to be the first place I'm going to go to get my van properly kitted out. Get rid of the pallets, get rid of the silly carpet that I've got in mind. I'll get it done properly by then. And also make sure you stick around because we've got more videos coming in a few days time. I'll see you later. Bye.